Hi guys, I'm Nikhil Chavla and I'm today with a man who can predict the future and I'm not kidding. So hi Cameron, how are you doing? Hey, I'm doing really well. Thanks for joining us. Uh, it's a pleasure meeting you and you know learning so much about the weather company. What exactly do you do there? Yeah, so I'm the general manager of the weather company. I uh, sold the weather company to IBM about four years ago and so I'm ultimately responsible for uh, us helping to predict the future. <laughs> uh, uh, so everything from the science and data collection and, and uh, forecasts that we do, uh, as well as you know, go-to-market and sales and industry solutions we build to help people make better decisions. Great. So first, let's address the elephant in the room. How is the weather company you know, really working towards saving the planet and working on the climate problems that we are facing today? The, the climate challenge we're facing today can be daunting, almost overwhelmingly yeah. so. Uh, and so I think we try to always instill hope in people. Like, we can make a difference. Yeah. We can make changes. There's things that we can do. Uh, I was really, really pleased to see IBM, along with 75 other, you know, global companies, including Tata here in India, but, but Apple and Google and many other largest companies in the world, all uh, commit last week to uh, putting their hands up and saying, "Hey, one of the things we can do is uh, put a carbon tax on ourselves, uh, uh, or have a carbon tax imposed on us by the government." Uh, you know, as long as it's done appropriately, we think that's a step in the right direction uh, for climate change. And the other big thing we can do is uh, how do we actually drive better yield and better performance uh, from farmers around the world, right? Uh, and so, you know, the Indian government set this goal of you know, doubling the income of farmers over the next five years. Um, we'd love to play a, a part in that and helping uh, make that vision a, a reality. Uh, and we have some solutions that we think can, can make a difference there. Great. So, like, terms like cloud, you know, NLP, machine learning, artificial intelligence, big data are really jargons for people. How does the weather company, you know, utilize all this computing power and all these jargons that most right. people think? So I think, I think you're right. Most people hear those, those acronyms and, and they don't fully understand what, what they mean. Uh, I guess what I would say is, to simply put, at the weather company, we're trying to map the atmosphere. Right? So every single thing that happens in the 100 kilometers around the Earth that we live on, we want to know every single thing that's happening inside that atmosphere. Um, no person or group of people can process all that data. It's literally 12 trillion pieces of data every day that we're mapping to try and do that. And so we've asked and, and worked with computers to help us do that. But those computers really just augment us as, as, as the people that have to make decisions, right? And so uh, we still believe and will continue to believe that uh, people need to make decisions and that those terms like AI and, and ML and uh, NLP are all augmenting people to help them make uh, better decisions. And so in our case, that's about making a better decision of you know, as simple as what to wear today mm -hmm. to as complex as, you know, do we evacuate a region uh, or a state uh, because of a huge tropical event that's uh, coming their way? Absolutely. Great. So I want to understand how is the weather company you know, impacting and what kind of uh, business or industries are impacted by the weather company? It's not just a weather app that we have on our phone. No. We're, we are the most downloaded weather app uh, in India uh, and the most downloaded weather app in the world. Uh, but it's not just that. We actually uh, help businesses uh, in a variety of industries make better decisions. So uh, what many people may not know is every time you fly on a commercial airline, uh, we're behind that, planning the route, you know, helping uh, predict turbulence, uh, et cetera. Uh, every time you know, your goods are th coming through a supply chain, whether it's trucking or shipping or rail, uh, we're helping those companies get move goods around uh, the world. Uh, your energy and utilities companies for your power, water, etc., cetera, uh, partnering with us to help them make better decisions on uh, how to manage supply and demand and, and things like that, including your insurance companies uh, are impacted by severe weather mm -hmm. events. Uh, but um, uh, how do we turn insurance companies into you know, uh, prediction companies uh, is, is part of what we're uh, trying to do. Great. So you recently introduced, a, I don't know the full acronym for what is graph, but yeah. you introduced graph. What is it about and how does it you know, change the whole algorithm or 
you know, the impact of the weather company. Yeah, so, so GRAP, which stands for Global High Resolution Atmospheric Forecasting, okay. um, to make those acronyms uh, <laughs> come alive, uh, is, is simply put, um, we are trying to uh, democratize weather for everyone on the planet. We really believe that if everyone has a really good weather forecast, mm -hmm. that they'll make better decisions personally and professionally. Uh, so, and that will drive uh, big changes. And so to give you a sense of the, the scale of the changes we think about as, as we develop the craft was, you know, there's six billion people on, on the planet right now, at least two billion more coming in the next 10 years, maybe four. Um, we can't feed the people we have right now, and there's no more land being created. So how do we help farmers uh, have a better uh, yield, drive more uh, output from the land that they're farming today uh, is a big part of, uh, of graph, but it's also aviation. How do you, you know, when you fly from, you know, uh, Delhi to Mumbai, like, and you hit turbulence uh, without warning, that can be dangerous, right? Uh, and we want to reduce that. Um, our mission is to map the atmosphere, but at, at its heart, we want to ultimately try and help uh, people live better lives. Absolutely. Thank you so much for that because you know everybody hates turbulence. So right. we're glad you're working. <laughs> we, we want people not to be afraid to fly. <laughs> Absolutely. So my last question to you is like, can the weather company get rid of the Quatan Lewis system and have like a fair game of cricket? I, that is my lifelong dream <laughs> is to make that a reality. Uh, before I get out of this business, I'm going to <laughs> determined to make that a reality. No more test matches should ever be draws uh, based on the weather if I have anything to do with it. Absolutely. Thank you so much for your time. Great. Thanks very much. Pleasure.